Hey guys, I'm going to give you guys a quick review on the Nintendo 3DS XL Charging Cradle. That's right, the XL Charging Cradle. Here, they're not that, uh, they're not super easy to come by. Actually, no, I take that back. They are easy to come by, it's just that it's a little bit of a pain. Okay, there's two ways to get this guy. Either go, just regularly just search on Google and you'll find one, uh, but it comes with a European charger, and a European charger is not compatible with the U.S. outlets, so you're going to be pretty much having a dumb, useless uh, charger anyway, so you don't want to go that way. So what I did was I went straight, I just looked on Nintendo.com, I went to the customer support, and there they go, they had it. So if you want one for yourself, I'll provide a link in the description so you can order one for yourself. This cost me about $26. Uh, $19 for the unit itself, $5 for standard shipping, and then their sales tax. It was like $1.44. So yeah, there you go. So anyway, uh, it even give you like little directions on how to uh, properly place it on so they know that it's nice and secure. It's pretty much a piece of plastic, except for this little box right here. This is pretty much where all the circuitry goes in. Alright, so, this thing is right here. Uh, it is just for the game to go in and out. So, let's plug it in. We simply just take our charger. Put the adapter in this slot. And there's a little pressure plate right here. To release the little golden prongs so they can hit the golden plates on the Nintendo 3DS. So now make sure you put it on a nice level surface. Make sure you find a good spot. Take your 3DS. You can close it. I'm just going to close it, but you don't have to close it. Uh, do the front first and then properly lay it down and there you go. It's charging. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So pros and cons about this thing. The cons are they're not available in stores, which is really, really stupid because here the original 3DS came with the charging cradle and it was also available in stores in case you lost it. However, they did not do that for the 3DS XL, so I just think that's poor marketing. It's just really stupid. You have to order it online, so that's really, really bad. You would have thought they would at least put it on, I don't know, Club Nintendo. But nope, you actually have to get it through customer service, and it's really pricey. That's another con that I hate about it. It's super pricey. At $26? I think not. <laughs> so, yeah, it works. It's perfect if you have a nice little station and you want to charge your 3DS XL. So if you have a little workstation like me, where it's not too sloppy and you'll know where it is all the time, you're good to go. But if you lose things very easily and you're just a slob, please save your money. Do not purchase this thing because if you're going to lose it, it's really pricey and you don't want to replace it because of how much it's going to cost you. But if you know that you're going to have it here at all times, totally go for it. It's worth every penny. Alright, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to try to help you out. And remember, I'll provide a link in the description if you want to buy one for your own. Uh, this is going to be a link directly to Nintendo, so you won't end up having a European charger. Alright, so that's it guys. Hope you liked what you saw. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, don't be afraid to ask any questions about this guy. Alright, see you guys later.